Well, hello everybody. How you doing? My name is Atia, and this is Smooth Complexions. On tonight, we're gonna get in touch with all the reality shows. We're gonna gossip. We're gonna have a little bit of discussion on tonight. I want you guys to get ready for the comments. I want you to send send your video responses. Do whatever you feel you need to do on tonight's Let's Talk. We're gonna talk about all the reality shows. So stay tuned. And before I get started with all the reality shows, I would like to thank Miss Tanya for my sleep palettes. Uh, I have Sunset and Acid. Thank you so much for sending these to me, sis. It was so hard for me to take the time out to do it myself. And um, I'm rocking that look on tonight. Um, pretty beautiful colors on both of those palettes. So, you guys, if you don't have the sleep palettes, please get in tune with that. Um, go definitely check out Miss Tanya's channel. It's right there in the info box or at the bottom side, wherever it's at now. Um, and definitely look at uh, her looks on the Acid. Um, uh, I think she did Acid and a Sunset look, but you can definitely check out her channel and subscribe. But on tonight, let me see what should I start. Let's start with Lisa Ray, the real McCoy. The reason why I want to start with her is because I missed it. She started on April the 8th, and I'm going to have to watch it. But the uh, clip that I did watch on YouTube, it feels like, you know, she's getting back in uh, to her old self from her marriage. And I just can't wait to uh, get caught up on Lisa Ray, so y'all have to fill me in on that. Please send the video responses and comments at the end. We're done gossiping and talking about all the reality shows. So definitely, like I said, I missed the real McCoy, but I definitely will get in tune with that this week and get caught up. Um, I did watch uh, A Family Business with Ray J and Brandy. Now, what I got out of that is that Ray J is just letting love come to him. And as well, uh, Brandy is trying to get back into her own. Uh, and I think she's dating Mr. Flo Rida. And with that, she's taking everything slow. And she's trying to see the direction she wants to go in with dating new. Um... In my opinion, I definitely would tell her to keep it, you know, cool, keep it easy, take your time. Um, you're still young, and you just have to let everything really most likely just fall into place. Um, I really do love the way their mom, in my opinion, is telling things, because in that kind of music business or any kind of business, you want someone that's going to be upfront and take charge. Um, I know sometimes she may come across a little blunt or a little, like, all in your face, but uh, at the end of the day, I feel that feel like sometimes that's what you need to have on your team to make sure people know you are about business and you're not gonna mess over me so um she probably needs to tone it down a little bit but as a mother what can you expect i mean she wants the best for her kids and i can do nothing but applaud her um the daddy to me he seems like he's missing her you know she's all into the business but he's missing her the way they used to be and I feel kind of sorry for him because I think what's gonna happen what's gonna happen is he gonna eventually blow up because he kind of seems like the quiet type of guy and I think he's just gonna have so much and he's gonna blow up but I really hope that everything works out because he looks like he's kind of lonely and he's going with the flow of things so um i hope they can you know rekindle and get the flames back going because i can tell with the previous episode that they did uh show us that uh he was like you know he missed the old her so uh, i hope that all works out and with ray j i think nothing has changed <laughs> i think he still wants to be ray j party guy be with the boys kick it chill I don't see Ray J selling down no time soon. I really, really don't. Um, as what I saw so far, the clips, the previous clips that are coming up, nah. He's Mr. Party, Party, Party. So, uh, with that said, um, I would definitely keep watching A Family Business uh, with uh, Ray J and Brandy and the rest of the family. But so far, so good. Um, again, I want to talk about Chili. <sighs> My dear, my dear. I feel Missy Elliott. I feel, oh, what's that girl name? Y'all know her name That uh, that's trying to get her out there, trying to find somebody new. Uh, Missy Elliott is right. Go date God. Go, don't go date one of God's disciples because uh, your man is not out there. I honestly feel like her friend Tiana was very much, uh, she was so right about just uh, compromising a couple things. You know, don't just all dive into what you want, what you want, what you want. You never know. You can let that person know. Let one good person go just because he eat pork. I mean, just because he drinks a little or just because he's, well, I'm against smoking. I'm not going to lie. But just because he drinks or just because he eats pork that is just crazy and then if the brother I'm, I'm with them then the brother has to be packing too oh honey well if if she listening right now and if you find him sweetheart let me know because baby that is one that everybody must just 
missed. But uh, I do think that she ought to compromise a little. Again, yes, I do believe that she's still in love with Usher. I think that um, if, I think they could still work it out. That's just my opinion. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's really up to her, the love she's looking for. She has a son herself, so it's just what she's willing to compromise. So I definitely, definitely can't wait to see who her ending man is going to be. Uh, Mayweather. Let me talk about that. I'm not going to lie, um, I have a good close friend and I would never compromise our friendship because man, like when I have a hard time doing something, it's always good to go back and talk to that person. And you know, if y'all have crossed that boundary, it's like, you know, you really can't go to him because you know, y'all have crossed that. Then maybe y'all not as cool as y'all used to be. So if I was her, I definitely would keep Mayweather as a good friend because they do seem like real, really, really good genuine friends. So I wouldn't let that go for the world. I would just, you know, be there for him and he's there for me and we just don't cross that line. I mean, I would definitely keep it genuine and keep it friendly. But they will look good together. But at the end of the day, just think if he was to cheat, you know, that would just be the end of them and there goes your friendship. So I really don't, the way I saw them, I just don't think it's worth it. I would definitely keep the great friendship that they have and just like just let that blossom because they they do look good and I could keep saying it all day but the friendship is so much prettier it's so much it's just beautiful when I saw that I was like oh you know don't let that go because I think they are both real honest people towards each other because he was keeping it real she was keeping it real but those eyes was telling me different at one point but um I just hope that definitely will stay good 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 friends and not uh mess that up so um as well, the basketball wives. First of all, have y'all seen that video going around with Shaq? <laughs> I have laughed all day. Shaq, I love you, but you are crazy. You had me on the floor today when he was singing that Fire and Desire. And he was singing uh, that Aaliyah song. Oh, my God. If y'all haven't seen those clips, go check it out on uh, Rhymes with Snitch. Oh, my God. It, it is hilarious funny uh Shaq is such a character and you just gotta give him that much but uh as you know his ex-wife Shawna is over the show is an executive producer or something like that and a lot of people are like look they're not even basketball wives they're ex-wives and baby mamas so I think they maybe have one or two wives on there but uh I feel them. everything they were saying last night I kind of feel them I um I kind of know how it is to be in their shoes because I was with somebody that really was high powered before and uh but I guess me in a sense uh I wasn't that old I was real young and really was trying to make up my mind what I want to do with my life but once you get that mentality in your mind that you can make it it was easy for me to say see ya peace out of here so uh with them it's just much different because they're millionaires you know i was you know a little some some but uh when you're a millionaire you got a baby you know you want to make it work and it's just totally different i don't know that kind of life yet you know with having that baby i don't know what i would do if i had that but at the end of the day um a lot of them, I think they got their own businesses, but it's just, I guess, hard for them to step away because they kind of, maybe you, they're worried about the, what the other girl is going to come in and get. But let me tell you like this, sweetheart. Um, I read today, you know, I read a lot of things on Twitter and everywhere when they say, if a man, it doesn't matter. A man, you can give all you want to a man, but if a man wants to cheat and have sex with somebody else, he's going to cheat. Period. It doesn't matter what you're doing at home. It's just that if a man wants to cheat, he was, he is going to cheat. So, in that case, uh, I applaud Shawnee because, you know, out of 10, 9, 10 years, she finally got the courage to just say, you know what? I got to do this for me. And um, she did that. And a lot of those ladies, you know, they're really getting out of that mentality of I got to be there or um, I'm not going to make it without him and I have to take this from him. No, you don't. So, um... I definitely can't wait to see what's going to happen with those Atlanta baby mamas, housewives, and ex-girlfriends, or however that goes. But uh, I definitely like the direction it's going in. Um, like, uh, I don't think it's going to be too, too much drama. But we got to wait and see, right? So, uh, um, I just hope that I get to see more of that. But at the end of the day, I really hope at the end that those ladies all just pull together and just say you know we can do it without them you know if you can't be faithful if you cannot take your vows seriously then i'm out you know because whoever the jump off is or whoever the other chick is she should know that's not gonna last either so 
you guys give me your input on that. I can't wait to see it. Drop it right. Ugh, I always let it catch me. Anyway, real quick, please send me the video comments and responses on all the reality shows. Please, anybody, catch me, fill me in on The Real McCoy. Let me know what's up because I did miss it. As well, on Wednesday, on Twitter, 6 a.m. Central Time, I will post a question for you to win the full set of brushes from Sigma. Again, 6 a.m. Central Time on Twitter. See you guys there. Mwah. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.